Currently right now I'm a teacher at St Monica's College and I've actually got the amazing job of working in the um, football department with females um, mostly um, and seeing the talent come from um, the girls at school and their ambitions to play in the A-League and they look up to so many of the girls in this team. I think just like getting them to believe that it's something they can do is something that I would love to change in their mind. Yeah, I'm like super big on women's rights and just like rights in general, especially like being an American, Roe v. Wade, um, things like that are really impactful and they impact me, the people around me, the people that I love. And so I think just having people in positions of power who actually have a holistic view about women's bodies, women's rights is really important um, because it's not the same as a man and it's not the same that it was 50 years ago. So I think being an advocate for women, women's rights, making sure that women have proper access to certain things that they need access to because men don't, but women do. Um, I think is really important. I, I love teaching. I've, I've done a bit of coaching on the side. So I think just kind of like uh, sharing what, like what I know and kind of going um, to places where maybe football isn't accessible, as accessible or girls aren't able to get like an education and stuff and kind of helping them um, and like teaching them in ways and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I definitely say like sharing like what I know and, and, and I like the knowledge that I've learned with other people. I am vegan and at first it started off like for my health and then I started to do a lot more research into the environmental impacts of um, like the dairy and the meat industry and it's just, it's, it's pretty sad but um, I think that a lot of people don't know like how important it is to maybe limit your consumption of meat. I'd say that's the one thing that I'm pretty passionate about. Don't worry about all, all the barriers that, that we do go through. If, if you love the game, then, then stay with it and, and work hard and just, just focus on in the moment and, and you'll get to, to where you want to get. I think now's the time to really get involved in football, like with the Women's World Cup coming up and the absolute, like, women's football in general has blown up. It is such a great environment. It is. It has so much potential. It, it the growth is immeasurable. Like there's now's the time for all the younger generations to, um, I guess, benefit off all the work that the older generations have done to try and get better standards, better quality, better, um, I guess, finances, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, now is definitely the time. But if the little little girls of the West come along and. Um, come down to our games, make sure they stick around after the game so we can get a photo and get a signature and just have a chat um, and just get amongst, get amongst that environment. My advice to girls you know, coming to support us in the West is that, uh, well firstly I, I was that girl once upon a time, that young girl, so I know what it's like to have those role models and look up to them and, and want to learn, so I just want to be that person who can inspire them to, to follow their dreams and hopes and, and never give up on, on their dream, um, even if it's you know, later in life it's never too late. Um, to follow your dreams so I just want them to enjoy the moment as much as we do and just come out and support and, and love everything about it like we do. Uh, I'd say dream big. I remember I was watching the LA Soul at the time play, uh, fortunate enough to walk out with Marta was right in front of me and I kind of looked up and was like, oh this is going to be me one day and never re really looked back, been chasing it ever since so I think honestly dream big and Chase it, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't because anything's possible if you work hard. Just never give up and believe in yourself. Um, there's always going to be, um, you know, girls can't make it in, in sport, it's not a career, um, you know, th there's going to be all these negative noises around you, but just believe in yourself and keep going because really if you believe in yourself and you dream big enough, you can do it. And hard work pays off and listen to your coaches everyone has something something important to share and something that you can learn from and um, but ultimately just don't lose that dream and that fight to achieve what you want to achieve